Well, hello, hello, darlings, and welcome. Welcome back. It's me, Alcatrades, and we are here once again, back to our stream. But today, we're not going to be playing uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. As exciting as the last uh, stream was, where we dove straight into uh, Dorn Corneo's uh, manor, broke Tifa out, and struggled to get back to Sector 7 as fast as we could right as they were yeah all that I don't want to spoil for those who haven't seen it yet but catch up on the stream so that you can uh, find out what's going on but for today we're gonna take a break and since we're not playing uh, Hades because somehow we finished the game we got the first ending 
So I'm not going to say we completed the game, but we did get the first ending uh, right away from just our second stream. So for today, we're going to be playing The Messenger. And I have played this game before, but it was like four or five years ago. And that was, that was an experience. This is one of the funniest games I've ever played, you know, and I hope you guys find it just as funny, you know, I mean, uh, humor is subjective, but you, you guys know what I mean. And it's for those who are not that familiar with the messenger, I'm pretty sure you're more familiar with um, the game that kind of broke the internet a few months ago, uh, Sea of Stars. Sea of Stars came out late last year, and it was one of those very few indie darlings and Kickstarter darlings, you know? A lot of people were really into it. It kind of showed the world that crowdfunded indie games are, you know, not to be uh, not to be belittled. And wait, I'm trying to gather my thoughts. Sorry about that, but it was not just. A great indie game. It was a great JRPG. Well, it, I can't call it a JRPG. JRPG styled video game. And a lot of people don't know that it's actually a prequel to The Messenger. So what we're going to do, we're going to play The Messenger first. And when we complete it, we'll be jumping straight into uh, Sea of Stars. So let's give it a try, shall we? Badagoom. Let's kill my BGM. And just tell me how the audio goes. While I prattle on. <laughs> At the western edge of Fallen World lies the Cliffside Village. Harboring the last survivors of the human race, those who chose exile over death. They train day and night, confined to their hideout, their legacy cursed. S something. Legend warns of the demon army, bound to strike again, eager to completely eradicate humans. Sorry, I was checking something on my phone. <laughs> on a day that begins like so many others, a young ninja is about to be visited by the western hero. And sent on a perilous journey to this merciless world to carry a scroll paramount to the clan's survival. Let's see. Wait, let me remove this. Oh, yeah, but if you haven't uh, liked or subscribed, go ahead. Thank you. I would appreciate it. There we go. Let's start a new game. Yes. Another day, and still no sign of this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Ah yes, demon army this, magic scroll that, nothing's happening in centuries. So why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around everyone, history lesson is about to begin. Ah, ah great. 
another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. Ah, 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 yeah. See, one of the best things about this game is the fluidity of, uh, of movement. Yeah. Right on time to try the new core. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. Okay. Well, look who decided to grace us with their presence. Eh? Have you done your reading? Eh? Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is ride in this hideout anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you. But let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real. And shit they! Ah, oh, shit. Great timing there, old man. They have returned! This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Watch out. Ah, yep, yep, ah. Deads. Ah, the music in this game, man. Don't go. You are not ready. Uh. Oh. Burn it all. Bring the humans to their knees. Not so fast, big boy. He is a big boy. Look at those four heads. Oh, and who might you be? Nah. Are you really all they've got? Nah. Pathetic. Prepare to die. How about no? That sound. Impossible. Yeah, that's what they always say, don't they? Pa 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 pa. It seems luck is with you this day. Barma Faisal. Oh, he summoned the demon. There you go. Yes, my king. Oh, wait, we should give Barma Faisal a really stupid voice. Keep an eye on this one. I sure can lay my king. There you go. Something weird. Count your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the autumn hills. Eh. That's what they all say. Are you. Uh, the Western here? Something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. As you look like the most capable around here. Uh, excuse me, he's the only one left? I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak Summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. Uh, but who are you? And why is this scroll so important? Eh, I'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of the Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger. Alright, let's go. You got the scroll. You have been chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across your cursed world. Okay. Yeah. Slash. S slash jump slash. Oh wait, no. It was jump slash jump. Oops. Ah, wait. Let me... Move myself... Just a little bit. Just... I'll make myself just a little bit smaller, alright? There you go. That way you guys can see more of the game. Alright. Nice. Oh. This is one of the more difficult parts. Talking while playing a game like this. 
because this game is a little a little more uh, action-paced than most of the other stuff we play. Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. This song, by the way, is probably the most iconic of them all. I love the shopkeeper's uh, background music. Uh, what is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Yeah. Anyways, so I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is to take the scroll to the top of Faraway Mountain, where three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order? Slow down, that was way too much text for one dialogue box. Look, just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all these time shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. First one is on the house. Enjoy! You got the climbing claws. Press against walls while airborne to stick to them. Need anything? So... Climbing claws? Oh, yeah. You can press against walls to cling to them and climb out, uh, climb at your leisure. That makes sense, the way everything looks. It just feels like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Gaiden. John Gaiden? John Gaiden. Gaiden. Invented them decades ago. Uh, who's John Gaiden? Never mind, just an acknowledgement I need to get out of the way. I don't get it. Someone. What do you want to chat about? What is this place? Seriously though, where are we? Curious, are we? In time, you will come to realize that the question is not where, but when. Eh? Eh. That's it? Uh, listen, I know you're still new to this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information so early in your adventure. Eh? Wouldn't you rather go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. It's these days. What do you want to chat about? Any stories to share? Do you have any stories to share? Yeah. Of course, here's one for you. There once was a servant who didn't know how to read. The day came where his master asked him to read something for her. To which she replied, I'm sorry, my lady. I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. Eh? So he went out in the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept the bad news. When he couldn't find any, he reckoned he probably wasn't the only one to wish there was a tea house in his small town, so he opened up his own. It really picked up, so he built many more, and became rich in the process. One day, his accountant asked him to review a piece of document, to which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant, who couldn't believe his ears, said, If you became a millionaire without even knowing how to read, just imagine where you would be if you could read. Oh, I know exactly where I would be, the rich man replied. I would be a servant. The end. What? I don't see how this applies to my adventure. It doesn't, you asked for a story. More like the long version of when life gives you lemons? Alright. Since you don't seem to appreciate me sharing some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. What do you want to chat about? Upgrade. Okay, let's see what we can get. Ah, I really want this, but we're short of one time shard. So we'll get this. Oh. Please don't touch the cabinet. You know what we're gonna do, right? I already told you, the cabinet is off limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. You think you could just barge into my lab and go through my stuff like you own the place? There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey, don't touch. It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it. Why don't you put that curiosity to good use in the outside world and maybe, I don't know, save humanity? If you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you, it's boring. It's philosophical. I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. <laughs> this is your last warning. You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're going to touch that again. 
you ask for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I can't skip it. You know, it's getting... It gets pretty lonely out here, so I have a lot of time to think. The one thing that keeps me that keeps bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. I think I finally cracked that code. You see, everyone has goals. So you think, oh, when I have this, I'll be happy. Or when I achieve that, I'll feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance. Well, they simply hope Devolver will sign their kick-ass game. <laughs> From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time and being visited by countless travelers, I came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness into the future, to when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail, because once you reach your goal, you're not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state, it's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry pick the people around you. So that every day you're just stoked to live your own life and you don't need to defer any joys. Because you optimize the present moment. Now I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need to optimize my own life and that implies that you stop trying to open my cabinet so I really hope I bored you to death. You should see what I did to the last traveler who got nosy. Hey, I heard that. Oh, look at the guy down there. Okay, we'll leave him alone. <laughs> Climbing claws. This is the first upgrade that we got, so we can hit those um, projectiles. I do apologize, by the way. I'm pretty bad at games like this. Uh, platformers. Whee! Okay. Yeah, give me that. Ah. Save point. Ah! That was close. Pew. Ah, this is another cool part about this game. Listen to how the music changes when you're underwater. Up. Okay. Pew. Let's keep going. And this game has some amazing music. But I'm really excited about Sea of Stars, the uh, prequel. Because they got the composer of um, Proto Trigger to contribute to that game. And I love Proto Trigger. I mean, who doesn't love Proto Trigger? Alright, let's keep going. Doop, doop, doop. Kill this guy first. Oh. Yeah, give me that. Oh. Start. Hello. Need anything? Ah, uh, nothing to uh, chat with. Okay, let's get this first. HP makes him more resilient. Then dip it is mine. And it's also, okay. Let's get the bottom tier ones first. Uh. 
Hello? Oh yeah, that's the new thing that we bought. The um... Oh no, I didn't buy that, did I? I thought I bought more shurikens. Ah! Gotcha. Gotcha. Ah, damn it. I shouldn't have jumped. There we go. Smooth sailing so far. Bam. All right. Ooh. Let's get this. Okay, almost there, almost there. That wasn't that bad. Bam! So, it seems you're the one to wander off the beaten path. Uh, what was that big green object? Oh, you mean the thing that you just smashed instead of collecting? Nah. It's a power suit. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional, but if you're the kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you want to keep an eye out for the hidden rooms. And who knows? It may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. Hmm. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. You sneaky bastard. I love that shopkeeper. <laughs> okay, we got that. So far, so good. We haven't died yet. Ah! And every time I say something like that. My luck. It's gotta be my luck. Bam. Ah! Heal me. There we go. What's with the big mysterious chest? It appeared when you smashed your first power seal. Ah, see? We need to get uh, all of them. You still need to smash 44. Alright, that's a lot. Oh. Okay, let's get this. Chat. Level boss. Looks like you're almost at the end of this area. Did I forget to mention there's a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? You did. Haha! <laughs> that look on your face, don't worry, my dear adventurer. Leaf monsters only come out during a full moon. Ah. Oh. Is it full moon right now? Yes. Oh, that's. I didn't mean to. Well, good luck. What do you want to chat about? Goodbye. Let's go. Do I still know how to beat this guy? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. 
Yeah, the first boss is pretty easy. Hello! And come on, die, die. There we go. That was, that was really easy. That's kind of sad. Forlorn Temple. Ah, the music. Need anything? Yes. What do you want to chat about? Forlorn Temple, huh? That's a sad one. Uh, how so? Haven't paid much attention during history lessons, have you? Adventure types rarely do, I get it. So the short of it is, that four headed monster who would have uh, killed you earlier if that cooler than you hero hadn't intervened. And that's the Demon King. Yeah, the guy with the four heads. He brought his armies to the human realm many centuries ago and destroyed their stronghold, forcing them to retreat into hiding. And he's been sitting on their throne ever since. You mean this is all that is left of the human legacy? Eh, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way. I will go and take down that Demon King right now. He wouldn't be the first to try. Now I can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery. You're still too weak to consider taking out even his second in command. Eh, I'm going. I bet, you can't, I bet you can't even make it to the entrance without falling into the pit. Watch me! Oh, I will. Any stories to share? Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a princess looking for a suitable husband. She sent an invitation to all neighboring princes, stating that the main trait she was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders came and went, attempting to pass her test. You will be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need you to do is sleep on that pile of mattresses. The next morning, she would ask them how their night was. I had the best sleep of my life, each would reply. Confident they had proved they didn't fear the dark or that they could be easy guests. They were all promptly dismissed. One day, an especially sensitive prince reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what was up with that pile of mattresses he went on. It looked comfortable enough, but when I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kidney. They got married the next day. Oh, everyone knows that story. There was a pee underneath the pile, so that was someone who was extremely sensitive wouldn't be able to sleep. Yes, but have you heard of what happened after? Huh? For the first few weeks, everything was amazing. The prince would always complain. Just the guy she asked for. When the soup wasn't too hot, it's the cutlery that was too cold. When the music wasn't too loud, the paintings were uninspired. And when the clothes weren't itchy, the poems were predictable. Until one day, just like that, it dawned on the princess that she was in a toxic relationship. <laughs> Not only was her husband a drag, she had voluntarily picked him for exactly that reason. It dawned on her just like that. Now this whole love story was nothing more than two people whose dysfunctions matched like puzzle pieces. Incredibly humble by regal standards, she realized that she was the only constant in all her problems to delve into personal growth then got a divorce. She lived happily ever after. The end. What the? Huh? Okay. How many do we need? 125 and 200. Okay. Um, stories. Very odd stories. So that shopkeeper, he was like, oh, yeah, you're gonna fall. <laughs> yeah. Catacombs. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were an undead. What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a phobican? Phobican? We are a tribe of builders. Technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by unique fear which we are named after, hence Phob. What's your name? Necro? <sighs> Necro? 
So you feared the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for stamping me out of it. I really should get back to work. Bye. Give me that. Still mine. Give me all of that. There we go. Now we can afford stuff. Well, not yet. We need like 200. Whoop. Ah, wait. Let's not risk it. Whoop. Give me that. Mastering that cloud jump is important for this game. Ah, the evil necromancer. Hello. Hello. Can we buy anything with that? I don't think so. Chat. Demon King. Hey, how'd that epic raid on the Demon King go? Yeah, I fell. Did you manage to save the world and restore your people's honor? It's not fair. The bridge was in shambles. Well, we wouldn't have much of an adventure if you faced off against the big villain right away, now wouldn't we? What do you want to chat about? Hey, you made it to the catacombs! Okay, anything I should know? Uh, not really, it's pretty standard stuff. Skeletons? And bats. Oh, evil wizards too? You bet, a necromancer even took over. Spooky. Cliché. I suggest you get this area out of the way, there are more original ones lined up. <laughs> what do you do here? What do you do here? I study magic. Can you teach me? Not really. Why not? Because you're not ready. Ready for what? For ma Come on, you just asked. No, but I mean, believe me, learning magic is a lot harder than following a conversation. <laughs> Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a poor old lady who had nothing in life save for a small shack and a pear tree. Her name was Madame Misery. Her whole family ate misery, and sometimes there wasn't even enough misery to go around. One day, she was visited by a starving beggar who asked whether she had any food to spare. She didn't, but her heart was as big as her situation was unfortunate. She served the beggar a few clumps out of the tasteless broth she had simmering, then invited him to help himself to a few pears. The beggar removed his cloak, revealing himself as a deity. He was disguised as a beggar to see whether there was any kindness left in the world. Touched by Madame Misery's generosity, he offered to grant her a wish. Now, uh, let me guess. Do you want anything and some more about living frugally? <laughs> no, no. This is good. Let me continue. You mentioned a lot of people were stealing her fruits, which jeopardized her chance to eat every day. Her wish was simple. An enchantment on her pear tree, so it would trap anyone who stole from it until she decided to free them. The divine visitor granted her wish and took his leave. Time went by and she scolded many thieves, but soon realized that most of them were starving children. She decided to take it upon herself to feed and educate them, and soon became the pillar of a thriving new generation. Ever happy and generous, Madame Misery got so old that her face looked like an elephant's knee. And then, one day, death came for her. Ah, 
Death, following the protocol, inquired about her last request. I would like to eat one last pear for my tree, she said. Would you be kind enough to grab one for me? Death climbed to the tree to grab a pear, getting trapped in the process. The old lady decided to never let Death out of the trap. And since then, there hasn't been there has been misery in the world. Ooh. The end. Right? What's the moral? Being selfless justifies being selfish later? Generosity begets misery? I don't know, it's a fairy tale for kids. I just thought the idea of death trapped in a pear tree was interesting. What do you want to chat about? Let's go back. Oh, I can get this. horrible. Oh, what are you? Ah, this one's not that hard. For now. Nice! No! Ah! Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa! I almost got hit. There we go. Patience, patience. That's usually my problem why I die in these games. I tend to rush things. Yep, thank you. Come here. Wait, what's down here? Okay, nothing. Going down. What's down here? Do I risk it? Do I risk it? No, I died. Damn it! Okay, that is a bottomless pit. <laughs> oh, a new customer. Eh? What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? How? My name's Quarble. Quarble? At your service. I'm the one you never would have met had you any skills. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Eh? Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. Well, stick around to steal your loot until either we're even or I'm bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. Yeah, the water sound thing is so satisfying, right? The way the music changes? It seems we have a deal. Glad we see eye to eyes. Carry on then. Oh yeah, he's only got one eye. 
him. Uh, wait. Let's satisfy him and get him some money. Oh wait, that's not money. Damn it, Carble. Look at him stealing all my money. Are you bored yet? Marble, go away. Marble. Alright, let's kill this thing. I don't want to fall again. Oh, there you, there you go. He got bored. <laughs> Uh, just in time too. All this money is mine. Dude. Oh, ah. Give me that. Oh, oh wait. I want that. Freaking horrible. Okay, that guy's gone. Yo. Ah, no! There you go. Wait, there's nothing on the other side, right? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Ooh. Tight window, tight window. Let's keep going. Save point. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No. Whee. You're dead. You're dead. Ah. Gotcha. Come here. Oh. Ah, but I took a few hits. I, every time I see a pit like that, I'm like, is there something underneath? Check. 
I believe you have reached the necromancer's doorstep. Uh, any advice? Very little is known about this villain. Okay, so no advice? Dodging anything that looks like evil magic would be a good start. Uh, yeah, thanks for telling me the obvious. <laughs> wow, great help. Well, I also recommend looking at my inventory for any useful upgrades. I really appreciate all the support. Look, the necromancer is a... is a newcomer. All we know for now is that he plans on taking over the world with his undead army. All we know? Who's we? Sorry, I meant I... All I know. Cheeky bastard. Uh-huh. I'm totally on my own here. What do you want to chat about? Need anything? Upgrades. Recharge, restore one health point. The health point would be a bigger help. That's a little redundant on my part. And with this army of undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Rockstin. You gotta say it with double X's. Ahem. What now? We have a visitor. I don't have time for visitors. Well, it seems to have time for you. Ah, oh, great. Just what do you think you get to play with your evil lab? Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Ah. Now say something threatening. And try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've been practicing. Watch this. <clears throat> Who dares enter my lair? Oh, uh-oh. Is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Ah, good plan. And God, face the mighty might of Rockstin the Great. Ugh. Really? Oh, ah, blah, 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 blah. He actually says ow. Oh, look at him. He's trying. I kind of feel bad for him. I yield. Wait. Uh, I don't. It's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for us no matter how many skulls we slap into ourselves. Uh. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. I, I don't know. Just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What has all this brought us, really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh, yeah? Now are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Well... I could... That's... Hmm... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's settled then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. Oh, thank you, Ruxton. Bye bye. Okay, arbitrarily had to go over that. Uh -oh, there you go. Oh no, no, damn. I miscalculated that. I'm starting to think you just want to find out what these death quotes will start. <laughs> uh, 
Marble. Here, take it. Ah, that song. Now, Farble? No? Taking all my money? That was an unnecessary death. Ah, he left. Bye, Farble. Now let's go to the shop. But I can't buy anything with 44. Chat. Bamboo Creek! That must be a sight for sore eyes after your trek in the catacombs. Sure is. Do make the best of it. This place is as close to a day off as you'll get on this adventure. I'll try. I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. <laughs> I guess that says more about your mindset than about the world. What do you want to chat about? What are these crystals I'm collecting? So you're a uh, touch the unidentified magic object first and ask questions later kind of guy? Damn it. They're time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly the way we have been doing it so far. You select what you want and give me the required amount of shards so I can do my thing. I mean, I meant the spell itself. It's complicated. But I'm curious. And I'm busy! What do you want to chat about? Ah, stories. Of course I do. But now is not the time. Why not? You're in Bamboo Creek! This is as sunny as it gets in this here cursed world. Though... So I suggest you take the opportunity to play outside. Go touch grass. Bye now. Nothing. Wait, how much was that? Reduce Quarble's fine for saving your life by 50%. 400! That's... that's a lot. something to heal. Keep going. Oh, oh you. Oh, ah. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, you just disappeared. Yeah. Let's collect all these. I can't go there yet. Uh, 
Nice. That thing has wings. Wait, before we go there. Still short. Mostly because Quarble took some of our uh, time shards. Hi. Music is so good. Whoa, dude, you just came out of nowhere. Demon heads. Yokai. Whoa. There we go. Okay, this one I know is not a bottomless pit. Ah, finally, we can get upgrades. So I guess the boss is up next. A boss in Bamboo Creek? That's a good one. Well, with the layout, you know, perfectly centered gate, symmetrical lanterns, no scrolling, I just thought... Look, you're perfectly free to hallucinate patterns and try to make sense of them, but I, I believe I told you this place is like your day off. 
So... Well, would you fight a boss in your day off? Exactly. What do you want to chat about? Ah, I love this shopkeeper. Okay, health upgrade, defense up, and checkpoints, okay. Howling Grotto. Yeah, so there was no boss here. Ah. I fell in a pit. That you did. That gap is way too wide. There's no way I can make the jump. Oh, this reminds me of a story. A long time ago, warriors of the Squirtle Clan invented a way to soar through the skies. Not you're gonna feed them, humans could seldom dream of. Some would mistake them for gods. Incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. <laughs> Press and hold X while airborne to glide. Deploy over geysers to fly upward. Welcome to the Howling Grotto. Do people live here? Some cave dwelling creatures used to a long time ago. They built structures from the streams of emerald running through the rock and believed the wind was the breath of a god. Anything I should know? Not really. Other than it's gliding time. Eh? Well, that wingsuit I gave you? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have enough contextual data. I meant to say something that would make sense regardless of whether you had already used the wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. You're being awkward now. What's wrong with you? I gave you something that virtually lets you fly and you'd rather stay here and chat. Thanks for the windsuit. You bet. Don't forget to try it out. Why was it free and not the other upgrades? Because it was mandatory to your progression. You can't save the world if you're stuck in a pit. Will there be more freebies in the future? There's only one way to find out now, isn't there? What do you mean? I mean... You should carry on with your quest while letting your heart know for sure that this here prison world and its inhabitants have a lot of surprises left in store for you. Any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope of getting his life together and be a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. To rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him sad when he is happy and happy when he is sad. It worked like a literal charm, and the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle's wizards promptly grabbed the ring to finally try and understand the source of its power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magic at all. But how could a non-magic ring make you sad when you are happy, and happy when you are sad? What? Eh? Any guess? Not really. It had a small inscription that read, This too shall pass. Whoa. That's deep. It's more than deep. I just gave you the cure for anxiety <laughs> through a fairy tale. Thanks, shopkeeper! Hey now, don't push it. <laughs> Alright. Wingsuit attack. Yeah, we need this. Press square while gliding with the wingsuit to attack downwards. There we go. There's the uh, wingsuit attack. Alright, before I continue, I'm just gonna go on a quick bathroom break. So please wait for me. Don't go away.
And we're back. Crystal. Wait, let's kill this guy first. There we go. Woo! Ah, I love the swing suit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like falling. I do not want to see Quarble anytime soon. I got really, really worried about that one. Ah. Drop. Ah, damn it. Come on, make it, make it, make it. There we go. Going. Almost 
almost there. Ooh, make it, make it, make it, make it. Ow. Where'd that skeleton go? Come back! Ah, uh, he's gone. I'm short by two. Ah. That's sad. Earlier I was short by one. Now I'm just short by two. Wait. I want to get all the time shards. We've seen what happens when we miss just the one. Almost up 400. Ha! Ah. Okay. Let's keep breaking this. There we go. Ooh. Ah! Time shards. Oh, okay. Chat. Well, I hope you're up for a challenge. Why? Because something big is up next. What? Well. Let's just say you're about to fight someone who understands that the best defense is a good defense. Huh? Huh? Who? I wish I could tell you. 
Anyway, your three questions are up. Carry on. Since when is there a three questions rule? Hey, that's four now. <laughs> Wait. That's paper corbel. Because death is inevitable. Eh? 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 Oh no, oh no, oh no! I don't want to die here. Come on, get up there. Oh. Come on, man. Whoa. Ah. Oh, oh. Shards. Nice. Like, thanks for destroying my golem. Huh? Well, you attacked first. What are you talking about? I've been digging through these caverns for centuries. And you just randomly engaged. No way. Way? No way. Ugh. You know what? Fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. I guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your golem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean it, I'm sorry! It's alright, honest mistake. So, how do I get out of here? Oh, that's just a win for you. Good luck on your quest. Thank you. You can leave using the wind tunnel. Again, I don't mind her misunderstanding. Guy, Bill's room, uh, Marge. All right. Ah, the music here. dangerous. Ah! Oop. Ow. Ah! Wow! That thing goes across the whole room. Patience, patience, patience.
chat. Welcome to Quillshroom Marsh, said no one ever. Yeah, this place is eerie. Tell me about it. I once had to look through the mud for an artifact. Gave up pretty quickly. What happened to this area? Legend says it used to be ruled by a monstrosity called the Primal Fear until Brave Monk defeated it. Both were very mighty indeed, but with its final breath, the Primal Fear cursed the monk forever. C cursed? Legend also says that the monk still roams the marsh to this day, turning any trespassers into fungi. Oh, great. No one knows whether any of that is true, but yeah, I'd pick up the pace if I were you. I still can't believe you defeated the Emerald Golem. Did you get a chance to understand its motive? That thing wasn't evil, it was just digging away. What? You mean all these messengers that were killed? All a misunderstanding. Wow. You have any stories to share? Ah, here we go. Of course. Here's one for you. There once was a messenger who kept asking for stories. Ah. Uh. Even though he was supposed to move on with his very important quest, he just couldn't get enough. The shopkeeper, living in a void outside of time, was connected to all eras, and so at first was happy to share the myths and legends encountered over decades of traveling. Alas, the messenger never seemed to appreciate the morals or takeaways, and the shopkeeper decided to be done with the stories thing. Huh. The end. Huh. No way! I like your stories. Eh. Come on! Maybe later, we'll see. Upgrade. And I can't afford it yet. But the good thing is, we haven't seen Quarbled in a while. But now I'm curious. <gasps> okay, it wasn't... <laughs> it wasn't... Uh, a bottomless pit. Let me see if I can pull that off. Aha! Ah! Whoa! Ooh, what's that? Ah! Da, 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 da. Oh, was I supposed to? Oh, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, hello, Alex! <laughs> yeah, you still made it for the messenger. Ah, da, 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 da. Wait. I'm out of... <sighs> Come here. Ooh. Shop. Yep, the shopkeeper is the best part of this game. Him and his funny stories. I, was, I just been trading one. You know what? No, no. 
I will not let this guy go. Ah! Got careless. Of the shopkeeper. Hello! And I still can't afford it. How much are these? 250, 1000, 320. Short by 20. Oh. Hate those birds. Too much damage. There we go. Almost there. That thing. No. Gotcha. the hell killed that guy? Oh well, he's dead. That's all that matters. You sneaky bastard. Ooh! Wait a minute. Ah! Can I go up there? Okay, no. Oh, I took damage for nothing then. Okay. Nothing up there. That guy died from peer pressure. <laughs> Bye. rough. 
Chan. Be careful, I sense a Fallen up ahead. Uh, Fallen? It's how we call messengers whose quest came to a tragic end. Their power corrupted by demon magic. Why are you so serious all of a sudden? Because it doesn't get more serious than a rogue messenger about to unleash on you. And with these stories about a monk? If it really is that one monk? What are you talking about? How about you meeting your match? Good luck! He charges plus one, shurikens pierce target. Ah, more resistant to damage. We'll need this. Let's go. So here we go, a former messenger. Well, well, well. It seems we have an intruder. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we gotta do it the anime way. Well, well, well. It seems we have an intruder. This makes me think of uh, Matthew Patel from Scott Pilgrim. You need to get out of here. This place is filled with monsters. Oh, did my quill shroom scare you? Ah, uh, so it's true. <laughs> Don't like my army? It's a shame, really. Since you're about to join it. Eh. Yeah. I don't like humorless shopkeeper. <laughs> he keeps intending to. Wait, that scroll. It couldn't be. Eh? No. Impossible. Kneel before your queen and re receive the curse of quills. Um, how about no? Oh. Damn it. It made me waste one of my shuriken. Gotcha. Hello. Hey, get down here. Down here. Come on, just die already. Gotcha. Ah, that was good. <gasps> what? Now, wait a second. Nah. What do you think you are? I'm Quibble. Quibble? This name makes no sense. Why have I never seen you before? I was exiled a long time ago, when I got cursed along with my messenger. Eh? That voice. You. Out of here? You bet. See ya, sucker! <laughs> Sorry, Quarble. No love, no uh, romance for you. <laughs> Look at him, he's like so confused. Huh? Huh? <sighs> what just happened? Searing crags. Oh yeah. Ooh. This music. Yeah. Hello. Congratulations, you made it to the base of the mountain. Almost there. Do you know what this means? I don't know. Does it mean you have another dialogue trap for me? Uh, what? Oh. You're just gonna try and steal my character like that? Eh. I guess you think you deserve a prize? No. Well, you do. Plus, you'll never be able to make the climb without the rope dart. Rope dart? Don't overthink it. Everyone will probably end up calling it the drop and hook anyway. 
Here. You got the rope dart. <coughs> Grappling hook. Press circle to throw. Try it on rings, lanterns, walls, and enemies. Need anything? Uh, yes, chat with me, please. Rope dart. So, thanks for the rope dart? Oh. Did you think that was an awkward interaction? Yeah, you could say that. Clearly, you never had to tell your boss that your little experiment went wrong, permanently impacting one of your colleagues. What? what? Hey, I heard that. Oh, the bird. <laughs> I just realized that. Anyways, you can use it on rings, lanterns, walls, and enemies. You go nuts. How about that monk? Ah, it is as I feared. Our most promising messenger did not die, but was instead cursed forever. She became the Queen of Quills. How did that happen? This is a tale for another time. Do you have any stories to share? Of course! Here's one for you. It's a story I once told the guy who hooked me up with music for my shop. Oh! <laughs> there once was a village struggling to figure out who, were the were who the werewolf was. People kept dying every full moon. And very gorily at that. One day, a brave young couple decided to venture into the woods. He would be the hunter and she the bait. As one would expect from such a cliched and uh, setting, they got separated and our hunter faced off alone against the beast near a cliff. After 15 minutes of a literal uphill battle, damn it, <laughs> the hunter managed to chop off the werewolf's paw with his axe, just as it was attempting to choke him. The hunter then ran for his life. Feathered paw still clutched to his throat. By the time he got home, the sun was up, and he found his fiancée bleeding, also badly wounded. The paw on his throat had reverted to its human form, and that moment he noticed it was wearing a ring he had purchased a few days ago. The end. Top keepers edging us with the story of the Quill Queen. <laughs> well, they did give a little bit of a backstory, where the messenger failed and was cursed. Whoa, that was spooky. I'm still looking for a title. Any suggestions? What about The Werewolf Bride? Wow, great idea. Really? No, not really. You put the reveal in the title. Uh, what do you want to chat about? <laughs> okay, we have... I was about to say grappling hook. Ah, the rope dart. It's a bottomless pit. The first paycheck always feels good, but at this point, I mostly see the work. <laughs> damn it, Quarble. Ah, damn it, Quarble. Can you, like, give me notes next time it's a bottomless pit and if it's not? Oh wait, he's done? Hi, Quarble. Oh yeah, I got the uh, upgrade. Okay, remember. That part is not for upgrades. There we go. 
Give me that. Nothing to chat about? Well, I can't afford anything, so... Why are you here, shopkeeper? There's that huge shard over there. Give me something, man! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ha. Ah. Power seal. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I saw the two rings and I kind of panicked in, uh, a little bit there. short by 26 ah it's okay let's get in there Oh. 
Ah, damn it. Can you like... Ah, uh, it's gonna respawn. that upgrade. Thank you. Now we got four. Looks like the boss is up. Surely you mean the bosses. Bosses? Bosses. The bosses are up. I need to fight more than one boss here? Well, technically it's more like personal training than an actual fight. But, ah, don't let me ruin it. Go see for yourself. <laughs> Ah, uh, I love the shopkeeper. Hello. I see kick one and kick two. Ah, okay. Another day, another stew simmering. Oh yeah! Mountain life is a blast. But I miss seeing adventures pass by. I hear ya. Remember humans? You bet I do. They were almost as interesting as obvious foreshadowing. Oh look, a human. Who would have thought? Yo, Carlos, check this little guy out. Whoa, Sussus. See that scroll? Oh, Colossus. Hey, little guy. Are you the carrier? Don't be silly, Sussus. Everyone knows it's the runner. You're confused, Collis. I'm pretty sure it's the Envoy. No! You misconstrued, Susus. It's actually the Emissary. Come on, Collis. I think I remember it being the Courier. Seriously, Susus? How about we agree on the Message Bearer? Can yeah, do, Collis. Want to test the Message Bearer's sportsmanship? I thought you'd never ask. Let's see what you got, little guy. Oh. oh, you see that? Whoop. Ow, ow, ow. Hey. Ooh. Come on. Come here. What the hell is that boulder? Ow. Oh. there come on you too dumb big guy well they're not dumb they could actually speak so but as uh, the advice to Jar Jar was the ability to speak is not a sign of intelligence but at least according to Fight One Jin hello He's not down yet. Come on, man. Okay, there's the boulder. Ah. 
I missed that chance. Ah, damn it! I'm gonna throw another one. Damn it. No, I don't wanna die here. Not like this, man. Not like this. Oh, come on! Oh, ah, so I did get him. Leg day. Oh, that was hard. New milestone. Oh. Con Sarnet Colos. The postman packs quite a punch. Savily stated, susses. We like you, little guy. What do you reckon, Colos? He probably needs to reach the top of our mountain. Seems so, sisters. I say we help him out. Find for him, call us. Let's do this. Thanks for the workout, little guy. Now don't move. This might sting a little. Wait. Ah! Ready, call us? Set, sisters. Huh! Ow. I've never been good at platforming games, especially ones with action like this one. My solution is to usually watch someone else play it. Luckily, you fulfilled that role for me. Aww. Happy to oblige. Well, I'm hungry now. Shall we snack all this? And, to be honest, I suck at these kind of games. I just sent sisters who promised not to eat until our power thistle was ready to be added to the pot. Oh, so that's what the flower is. I forgot completely, Colas. Surely its magical properties will make us even stronger. It will be succulent, sisters. It will be con carne, Colas. Let's sit by the stew until this thistle is fully grown. Aww. Glacial Peak. Yeah, actually I'm really bad at these games. That's why speedrunning is completely off the table for me. Is that there's a ring over there ah but I can't get up there I'm finally near the mountain summit looks like my adventure is about to come to an end Clearly, you haven't watched the trailer. Uh, pardon? Never mind. Hey, it's cold and slippery out there. Be, be careful. You have any stories to share? Of course! Here's one for you. There once was a village settled in a land of ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not as much as heat. But their elders spoke of a lush grove, safe, abundant, and with comfortable weather to boot. The only problem was that grove lay on the other side of a permanent hailstorm which would take weeks to cross. One day, a brave couple left their young boy behind to attempt what the village called The Trek. They would scout all the way to the grove and confirm its existence and come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, if you guys can notice, there's something new. Uh, I've got the chat now on the screen and I know it's blocking some of the stuff. But I'm working on a new overlay. That way I can separate the gameplay footage from everything else, from all the other assets. Hopefully we'll get that running by our next stream. So I do apologize. But just bear with me for this one night. Thank you! Like all who attempted the trek before them, they sadly and predict uh, predictably never came back. Over the following decades, that boy grew up with only- actually, 
since you guys... Oh no, never mind, it's fine. Over the following decades, that boy grew up with only one goal in mind. To take on the trek himself and find his parents alive at the grove, or dead in the ice. Figuring they may have simply been ill-prepared, he trained every day until he was five years older than his parents were when they left for the trek, and set off for his own attempt. The Hellstorm's first bite wasn't as bad as he thought it would be, but the ice-cold soil slowly worked its way into his bones. After days of walking through the storm, without realizing it was all just a metaphor, playing out in his troubled young adult mind, he stumbled upon a no pun intended chilling sight. His parents, frozen solid in a block of ice. The shock was too strong. He remained there, cursing, pondering, and cursing again, until the cold took him to become a part of the ice block. The end. What? What do you mean what? No moral? Or at least a proper ending? Sometimes, stories can be harsh. It might just be the very message they mean to convey about life. You need to think about what transpired and find your own takeaways. There are no wrong answers, as long as they ring true to you. Maybe, but this one really felt like a pointless story. And it just might be the case that for you it was. Eh? Or, you could consider the implications of our adventure being five years older than his parents when he found them. Can you imagine gazing upon those who were your protectors and mentors, realizing they are actually younger than you? Your bearers of truth, the wise ones, those you aspired to be like. A harsh reality indeed. You thought they knew it all, had, had it all figured out, that they were centered and filled with purpose. Yet there you stand, beholding the one pillar you ever took for granted and used for stability. Physically crystallized, yet mentally shattered before your very eyes. Yeah. Had they really found inner peace already when you knew them? Meaning you're the one who missed the mark? Or were they simply excellent actors? Good for thought, huh? Yes, it's enough. Remember, this is all subjective. I shared but one angle. Damn, shopkeeper! That was deep! 550, 1000. Alright, let's try to check just a little bit more. I don't like the look of that thing. Can you fall? There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh, ice physics. Look at that statue. That's a shopkeeper. Okay, I can go there yet. Nope. Ice physics. Oh, 
Ah, damn it. Wait. Let's save first. Okay. He's got no more stories for now. Physics. Uh, aha. Money for Corbo. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, uh. oh, damn it. Ah. Oh, God, is he going to kill me here? I almost got killed by a bird. Ow. Ah, damn it. You guys haven't noticed the game is getting really hard now. Ah, you! Ow! And he's gone again. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Ugh. Oh! Oh god, that was hard. I was sliding all over the place. Um. No other exit? Oh well. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this. Oh, I almost fell. Oh, no, 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 no.
to the top 300 oh oh he's not here oh he made it does this mean we get to do the thing keep your hood on shorty he still needs to pass the final test but I want to do the thing now, now. We need to see how attuned to the scroll he really is. Great. Take it away, Prophet. <clears throat> Welcome, Messenger. Please hold the scroll aloft so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. Okay. Eh? See? I told you he was slow. Ah, yeah, you weren't kidding. <clears throat> Please hold the scroll higher than that so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. Oh, ta da! I love this game. I love this game. They get to do the thing. Let's go! <laughs> he. He made it! Of all would be messengers. Him? Hey, have some faith, man. Please pull this off. I really want to do the thing. Hmm. <clears throat> A gauntlet awaits you, messenger. Could you survive? Find us at the top of the Tower of Time. And there's a shopkeeper. Eh. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Ow. Oops. There we go. Up! Ah. I didn't see the laser on the floor. Just so you can't say I'm always negative. Go, messenger! You can do it! There's nothing for you here, Quarble. You're gonna get bored. Go away. Ooh, fancy. Hello. I'm sorry, what? Ah, yes, the big reveal! Indeed, my dear adventurer, you had been teleporting into this very room all along. So, where are we? In the Tower of Time! And where is that? Uh, surely you mean when? To be honest, I don't really know. The tower is a device that travels through time. It manifests to test messengers who are deemed worthy in order to relocate them as needed. Uh, where will it take me? When? It will take you to the time most in need of a messenger. That is, if the tower doesn't kill you, of course. Oh. Huh. Do you have any stories to share? Of course! Here's one for you. There once was a land filled with bogs. And these bogs, they were filled with evil monsters. Sleeping underwater during the day, they were kept at bay by the moon during nighttime. Uh, nighttime. Well, when she was kind enough to be around, after all, the moon was free to travel through space, and often felt like shining her light on other realms. One day, the moon got bored, and decided to visit the bog land in human form. Wearing a cloak so that her light wouldn't shine through, we hoped to catch a glance of the evil creatures. Getting more than people wandering half hard ah, haphazardly in cursed lands usually bar uh, in cursed lands usually bargain for. Her. She encountered a man from a small pack of monsters. Confident in her power, 
She removes her cloak, creating a glittering aura of protection to help the man escape. Escape he did, but as he looked back, he could see that his savior had put her cloak back on a little too soon. She was captured by the creatures, who then buried her under a rock so that her light would never shine again. They would rule the night. But our survivor was quick to gather a group of peasants, who went to remove the big rock and set the moon free. A strong bond was formed on that day, and she decided to become their guardian. To this day, the moon is there to guide human travelers through the night. Ooh, I wonder if this has any connection to um, Sea of Stars. The end. Oh, I like that one. I guess it speaks to the power of cooperation. Eh, maybe. To be honest, I only wanted to use the word haphazardly in a story. <laughs> what do you want to chat about? Upgrade. What? Oh, it's 550. Okay. I keep forgetting that. Bye. Ah. Whoa. No. Ouch. I should have watched for a pattern. Can't really play that one off if you should see the other guy. <laughs> Cause I am the other guy. Oh, come on. Whoop. Ooh. How did I not notice this? Oh, God. hell is this? Mm. If someone's watching, you can pretend there was input lag. No, no, there wasn't input lag. That was me. Sorry. Ow. Ah. Damn you, Corbo. Oh no! Okay, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. Oh, I have my cloud jump. That's cool. No, no, no. Damn it. I got two trigger hack. Trigger happy. If anyone asks, I'm taken. <laughs> ah! Okay. Let's keep going. We can do this. No! Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Patience. Gotcha. Bam. Um, wait, what? That's it? How am I supposed to exit out of here? Um...
Oh, no, 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 no. No, I died. Someone's watching. You can pretend you just wanted to show them how I always have random contextual insults when you die. I still died. Ah. It's okay. But we do need to double check if I got that power seal. was rough. Okay, I got it. Now how the hell do I go back? Yeah, there's no other way. Except dying. Well, at least I got it, right? I totally called that one. Corbel just won another bet. Damn you, horrible. Look, I got the power seal right. Ah! <sighs> Man, that was painful to- yeah, it is. It was. Ah, that was- that was Let's keep going. We're almost there. We already got the power seal, we don't need to go back in there. Just keep going. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh! Oh, oh I made it! Wow. You know, I wasn't sure about this either, but they said I was better than the outdated lives and continue system. Damn you, Corvo. No. No. Oh. I thought I wasn't going to make it. I walked right into that one. I'm sorry. That's on me. If all else fails, you could try jumping. Ah, the insults from this guy. at the bottom. Oh. Damn it. Had to make sure. Okay. Oh, this is rough. Ah, oh, damn it.
What the? Can I break this first? Oh, I'm out of chicken. Ah, oh, I made it, made it, made it. Um, what the hell? Uh, there's another power seal. Let's get it. I kind of instantly regret saying that. Rome's there. Zigged when you should have zagged. And of course this is where I died. And I died again. <laughs> ah, I've seen your life 14 times already. <laughs> ah, I hate you so much, Corbel. Oh, no, no, no. Damn it. Okay, okay. This level, this level gives me so much uh, PTSD of the Dr. Wily stage from Mega Man. Yeah, oh, hi, Kaiser. How you doing? Ah. Come on, get up there. Oh, got it. Okay, let's just not get killed again. Oh, I almost got killed. <laughs> ah, just as I said it, too. Okay, I can't make that jump. That was painful. I admit it, you did that just because you wanted to see me. <laughs> uh, at least we got the power seal. We got the power seal. Ooh. Oh, and there's the monk that we fought. From the uh, marsh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Damn it! Hi, Warble. Saved by the bell. Thanks for touching those spikes, man. You just got me out of a, a very boring dinner. Ah, horrible. There's no money here for you to steal. Damn it! <laughs> 65 time shards in. I'm feeling some acid reflux. Maybe swallowing them isn't a good idea. Uh, it's a good thing only two areas in the whole game are this hard. Ball. Stealing all my money. Oh wait, he's gone. Are you satisfied, Corbel? Little demon. Ooh. Our seal. Whoa! Oh! 
A dana. How do you play with your feet or something? Actually, uh, fun fact, if you guys didn't know, Keck can play with his feet. He can hold a controller with his feet. Uh, look, I don't know how he does it, but he does. Ah, damn it, I died. Hi, Quarble. Or you could have watched her step. Ah, I hate that little demon. Or I could just get better at the game. We'll do that. Here we go. Ah, okay. Keep going, keep going. There we go. Oh. Two tries. Took us two tries for that. Not that bad. Ooh. Look at that guy. I don't like the look of this. Ow. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Damn it! Sorry about the pain, but I can't pay myself back if death isn't confirmed. <laughs> Ah, okay, at least we're here already. How am I? Run, 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 run. Oh, what the hell is this? And I missed the drop, the health drop. Come here. Whoop. I really wanted that health drop. Yeah, we got everything back. As long as I don't die. Ah, I barely made it. Oh wow, really? No, 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 no. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, guys. For real? And we don't have enough gold. But, you know what? Wait, I thought the shop was physically behind that other door earlier. Oh. So this is the moment that got you? Eh? My shop is connected all over the world and that's totally fine. But somehow, it can't be in the same building twice. Uh, can't believe you. 
Need anything? Ah, no chats. No stories. And I can't upgrade yet. Yahoo! This reminds me of the ending of uh, Shovel Knight. Here we go! Let's do the thing! <clears throat> and so you made it through the test of will. Oh. Are we so going to do the thing now? <clears throat> Prepare yourself, messenger. And behold the might of our order. You shall emerge as the chosen one, or not at all. Enough introductions, I'm going first! Ah, he's going to do the thing! Uh, well, someone's excited. I've been preparing this speech for decades, and he just... Look at all red. Let's go! Look at that! I'm probably gonna die. Let me whack you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, damn it. Ah, I almost fell. Ow, ow. Not good. Oh. Damn it. You're almost dead. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. <gasps> I got him. Did the thing. Yeah. Oh, we got him. And I had one HP left. I am the king of one HP. Okay, I think he's coming. Please let me do the prophecy bit this time. 
I'm staying out of this. Do whatever you want. <clears throat> and so you made it through the test of might. Uh, okay, what's next? Hmm. To fulfill the prophecy, you must now pass the test of faith by taking the leap. The leap? The leap, yes! I don't get it. Uh, test of faith. Leap? Leap of faith? Makes sense now? I'll just jump already? Come on, I was trying to have an epic moment here. Now, hero, lend your courage to hope. And your strength to purpose. Then dive into your destiny to emerge as the one true messenger. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. 16-bit graphics. Hi, Corbel. It's no longer 8-bit. It's 16-bit now. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Sweet 16. <laughs> uh, wait. There we go. Oh yeah, 16 bit. What happened? I warped or something and everything looks different now. Hello? Okay, that is a really cool hat. Eh? Seriously, wow. Any idea what happened though? Uh, sorry, I just can't get over the hat. Welcome to the Cloud Ruins, remnants of a civilization of giants that used to live in the sky. This place is beautiful, but the structures feel precarious. Yeah, bad place if you're afraid of heights. How am I? How uh, high am I? You mean, in my opinion? But, oh, geographically. <laughs> you enter the Tower of Time at the top of the mountain, and then exit through the top of the tower. So I'd say, fairly high. Nah. Enjoy the sights. What's the deal with everything looking so... different? You know, I was wondering how you were going to deal with the implications of time travel. It seems ignorance really is bliss. Pardon. That moment in Tower of Time? Yeah. It sent you to the future! Neat. Yes, precisely. Neat. Do you have any stories to share? Of course! Here's one for you. There once was a starving little boy who never missed a chance to help his fellow villagers. One day, after helping an old man carry a heavy bundle of wheat, he was offered a loaf of bread. Eat your fill, my boy. It is well deserved, he began. But if you like helping even more, there are two gnomes hiding in the forest who are even hungrier than you are. Now that boy was an empathetic one. His mind was made up instantly. After a short hike, he found the gnomes and split the bread between the two of them, without even saving a bite for himself. Thank you, kind little boy, the gnomes beamed. It seems you have lifted our curse. Indeed, to punish them for their greed, a spirit had put them under a rather annoying spell. They were exiled to the forest, carrying a magic little mill, capable of producing anything its bear desired. But the little mill's magic would only be activated once the gnomes were fed by a stranger acting out of selfless generosity. To starve while carrying a relic promising abundance, a cruel fate indeed. Now you can imagine the little boy's surprise when he was given the magic item. Name something you want while turning the crank to the right, and the little mill will produce an endless stream of it, the gnomes explained. Turn it to the left, and it will stop. After creating a huge pile of food for the two gnomes, the young boy went back to his village to help the populace with his newfound powers. But as he grew in popularity, his older sister grew in jealousy. One night, she couldn't take it anymore, and stole the little mill from her brother's bedside table. 
along with two leftover pies from that afternoon's feast. Adding insult to injury, she left at the family's fishing boat to reach new lands, hoping to have her turn in the role of the popular purveyor. Once out at sea, she decided to try one of the pies, which her taste were lacking a little something. It was time to try that little mill's magic, she reckoned. Give me salt, she said, turning the crank to the right. And salt she got. Heaps and heaps of it. Now, older sister never had bothered paying attention to how the mill could be stopped. Stop, little mill, stop, she shouted. First annoyed, then worried, and finally panicked. Salt soon overflowed the boat itself, sinking it under the weight. It is said that the sunken little mill is still operational to this day, and is the reason why seawater is salty. The end. That was interesting. But it feels more like a kid's story explaining things about the world we know the actual reason for. Tough crowd, eh? Why don't you tell me a story and I'll judge it. Oh. So, you're looking for additional takeaways? How about this? Seeing how Big Sister's anger led to her demise, irritated people were henceforth referred to as salty. Oh, I got another one. Seeing how Big Sister's shortcomings as a little mill operator led to her demise, unqualified people were henceforth referred to as not being worth their salt. Hey, this is fun. You should go. I'll keep on coming up with morals to do with salt. <laughs> okay. And this is where we're gonna stop for tonight. Uh, wait, let me just double check and make sure we save. There we go. Saving. Saving. Alright. Hold on, let's uh, head back to our little tavern. Goodbye, Mr. Uh, shopkeeper. Alright, there you go, guys. Uh, thank you for that. That was a really fun stream. We were able to finish the entire um, first part. First of three parts of this game. Um, the best way to think of the messenger, it's, it's split into three different parts. The 8-bit, the 16-bit, and then you'll see the third part when we get there. But uh, yeah, this was amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. We will... Continue the messenger next Tuesday, but uh, if you check our community post on my YouTube channel, I have a off-stream D&D game tomorrow, and then Final Fantasy VII Remake on Friday, Stardew Valley on Saturday, and FF7 Remake on Sunday. I will update you guys once again, and we'll see how things go next week. Hopefully we can finish the messenger in about three more streams. It depends. I'm horrible at this game. <laughs> so we'll see how our progress goes, if it slows down or speeds up. But um, anyway, thank you. Thank you guys. See you again on uh, Friday.